Hey folks, John Stark here with Troop 252. I'm here to give you a quick walkthrough on logging into Troop Track for the first time, as well as a quick tour of Troop, Troop Track so uh, you know how you can use it and um, what we as the scout leadership uh, use it for. Uh, you should have, most of you today on April 2nd, should have received an email with the subject line account setup instructions, and then also it, come, it came from Troop, the Troop Track notifier. Uh, your name will be right here. Uh, and then um, it'll say that I registered to the troop. This gives you access to the troop's website. Just to clarify, this is access to troop track, not troop252.com. Troop track is our private password protected, firewall protected um, um, service that we use to manage our troop. We have the scout information in there, we have um, calendar stuff in there, we have. Um, your information in there. We also have the ability to manage all of our scouts advancement, uh, merit badges, uh, rank advancement, so forth and so on. So really it's our admin tool that we use. Um, and then that you'll be able to use to RSVP to events and also follow and see how your scout is doing. So when you got this email, uh, it'll have your username right here and then it's gonna ask you to set up a password. So I'm gonna click through. I'm gonna go ahead and set up a password to log in. And then when I get in, the first thing it's going to do is going to take me to this home page. And the home page really just has all uh, everybody's um, information on here. So, for example, we have the Bush Patrol first, and all the boys in the first Bush Patrol. Uh, your troop guide. It'll show your assistant patrol leader. It'll tell you who your patrol leader is. It tells you what class or what rank they're at. Um, through here, We've got an Eagle Scout. Oh, he's uh, Nico's working on his eagle. Uh, and then the next group is going to be power nappers. The next group is going to be all the boys from Spartan. Um, War Torn Smarley Face, which is our senior patrol leaders. The Invisibles are the um, uh, scout leadership, the adult leadership. Um, uh, because we want to be invisible because it's a boy-led troop. And then on the bottom here uh, are the parents. As you can see, it's got everybody listed in here. And if you, for example, want to get a hold of Stuart Hoffman, you would click here and it'll have all his contact information there for you. And I'll give you, show you what that looks like. So if I click on test account here, which is the one I set up, I come in here, it gives me all the information that I have that's related to me and my family. So for example, my wife's listed and her contact information, my contact information, and then also my son's listed on here, has my address. Um, etc. If there's something that's incorrect here, like we have, let's say, your cell phone and it should be your home, or we have the wrong digits or wrong email address, you would just click the edit button here and you would go ahead and change that information right here and then you would update the user. If you need to change the address, for example, you in this section here, you would click right here under the start household and you can change your address there. The other thing that um, you have the ability to do here is also to uh, see how your son's doing. So let's take a look at my son. I can go over here, I can see his basic information, it has all his contact information, his email. Uh, so that way if your son wants to get a hold of my son, he can go log in the troop track and all the boys have access. Uh, he can log in, get the information. And if I wanted to see how my son's doing with his achievements, I can go right in here. I can see that he's completed scout, completed tenderfoot. He's 40% of the way through second class. He's got 4% of his first class done. And I can click on merit badges here and it tells me all the merit badges that he's completed and went. Just as a heads up, the first troop meeting of every month, so the first Tuesday of every month, all the boys are supposed to bring their books to the troop meeting and we then take their book, see what they've had in their regards to their rank advancement and that's how we get this information here. So if Nolan, for example, gets four more things signed off towards his second class, this percentage could jump up to 65%. So uh, this is how we do it. And the benefit to this is that if the boys lose their book, which has all their signed off information in it, at least we have a backup copy here in Troop Track. Um, I can also take a look at Nolan's leadership. I can see right now that he is a librarian, so forth and so on. The other uh, cool thing about this is that um, we use Troop Track uh, not just to manage the boys and parents' uh, information. And please make sure when you log in that all this is correct and complete. Uh, but the other cool thing is we have the ability as a troop to manage RSVPs. 
So we have a calendar, if you click on plan and choose calendar, we have a calendar in here that shows all the events and you can switch months, so forth and so on. Uh, so for example, we have Tam Rancho coming up and you can RSVP here. This is actually a mirror of what's on the troop252.com website. We have just found that we don't get a lot of people coming into um, Troop Track because it's a login and it's really not too user friendly from a tablet or a smartphone perspective. Uh, but this is, a, so this is a mirror of what we have on troop252.com. Uh, and this is where you would go to RSVP. And let me give you a quick example. If you do go to troop252.com and you go to the website here, if you go to events, and then you go down here and you choose Tamp Camarancho, it gives you all the event information, who the organizer is, so forth and so on. And again, this is on the public troop252.com website. Um, in at the top of every event should have, along with the information up here, is please RSVP via troop track here. So if I go ahead and do that and I click on this link for Troop Track, um, the Troop Track link, it'll take me right to the Camp Tamarancho event. And it goes the same way if I go here to go calendar and then I click on T Camp Tamarancho. Uh, give me a little pop up here. It takes me to the same page. So what I would do then is if I'm gonna go, I would go ahead and choose RSVP, going, save. Or I can go back and change it as well as I'm not going, or I can choose possibly. But if Nolan, uh, as the parent, I can RSVP for Nolan, but he should RSVP himself. Um, but this will have the information. So if I do RSVP on here as the leadership of the troop, we can go in and just look right here um, who has RSVP'd for this event. So as you can see, test account is now RSVP'd. If I RSVP Nolan, just for fun, boom, and then refresh the screen. Now Nolan should show up right here. Oh, there's Nolan right there. So um, this is how you will mostly use Troop Track going forward is to RSVP yourself and or your son, uh, though your son should RSVP himself um, um, to events that we have coming up. Plus you also have the ability to um, go in again and uh, manage your account. So I can go right to your profile right here, click on my profile and all the information comes back up. So that's how you will use Troop Track most of the time is first of all, please go in um, today or this week and update all the information and make sure we inputted everything in correctly. Uh, and then also you will use it to RSVP to events that will be right here. It should be on top of all of the event information um, on the public website uh, for troop252.com. So that's really Troop Track. That's an overview. Um, there's some more stuff you can tinker with in here. You can go into plan, you can go into manage, you can communicate, so forth and so on, um, and take a look and see what's in there. Uh, but that's really, again, how you will use it most of the time is to manage your boy, see how he's doing. Um, and then also to RSVP to events, RSVP to events. If you have any questions or concerns or anything at all, please feel free to send me an email to jstark, J-S-T-A-R-K at troop252.com uh, and I'd be happy to help you out. Hope you guys are having a great day and thanks for watching. Bye.